In this video, I will show you how to use the Get Item from Collection Action in Nintex Workflow Cloud. The Get Item from Collection Action retrieves an item from the specified collection based on the index provided. The Get Item from Collection Action is one of many actions located in the Collection Operations Action Group of the Nintex Workflow Cloud Actions Toolbox. The action has three fields to configure. The first field is Target Collection. The dropdown contains all the collection variables within the workflow. The collection variables can be created from start events, the output of actions, or manually. The next field is index. At a high level, a collection variable contains a comma delimited string. Each item in the collection is located at an index which are separated by the commas. It is important to note that the first position in the collection is located at index 0 and not at number 1. A number can be manually entered or a variable inserted using the Insert tab. The third field is Store Item. This is where you specify the variable that you would like to store the item that you get from the collection. As collections can have all sorts of data contained within them, the Store Item field allows you to use variables of various data types. These are text, decimal, integer, boolean, date, time, and file. As you can see, the Get Item from Collection action is easy to configure. I will now show you how it can be used in your workflows. In this scenario, users submit their medical certificates to a SharePoint online list. Creating the item in SharePoint sends a SharePoint new list item start event to Nintex Workflow Cloud to start a workflow. The workflow sends a confirmation email to the user to advise the submission was successful. The email includes the attachment file name. I will start by adding a get item from collection action to the workflow. I will configure the target collection field to use the collection variable called item attachments, which was populated by the start event and contains the attachment name and URL for the attachment. The attachment control on the submission form is configured to only allow one attachment, so I know the attachment I am looking for will be at index 0. The output of this action will be a JSON string with key value pairs, so I am using a text variable called file name in the store item field. Next, I will add a query JSON action to the workflow to retrieve the file name from the JSON string. Lastly, I am adding a send an email action to advise the user that their medical certificate has been received, and the message will contain the name of the file that they uploaded to SharePoint. This is what the email looks like when the workflow is run. In this video, we looked at using the get item from collection action in Nintex Workflow Cloud. We found that it is useful for retrieving individual indexes of a collection. Combined with a loop and times action, you can have more control when processing collections in your workflows. For more information about the get item from collection action and the other actions used in this video, please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files.